You need to look a little bit like a murderer. Oh, that's good. Do that again. You look handsome. And dangerous. You know, I wasn't sure about the beard before, but I was wrong. It looks good on you. Okay, I think we're done. Great. I want to get out of this suit. Hey, things are looking up. <laughs> Guess danger is sexy. <laughs> that was when I was still working. When I felt like a real writer instead of a fraud. It was a good memory. I wished I hadn't seen it. This is calmer, at least for the time being. We can talk here, but we don't have much time. Zane, how do I get out of here? That's what you face. That's you, even as we speak. Darkness. Darkness coming! <laughs> Swept him away. Lost! He knew. He knew! He couldn't hold on. He knew there was no way out. Oh! No! I'm right here, oh, Zane! Going wrong. That's not me, it's just... Oh. I don't know, an echo, a hallucination, a dark presence. No. The Dark Presence is not responsible for this. You are making this happen. You're trapped in your own nightmares. You are fighting yourself. Wade didn't understand it. He would never make it. He would never wake up. And he'd get swallowed up in the rising tide of darkness. It was coming. It was coming. Shut up! Gah! No! Swept away by the gathering insanity. Zane was gone. Wake could feel the pressure, gnawing at his mind. The darkness wasn't so bad. It was in him. He felt it. He knew the voice spoke the truth. It was just too hard to think. He can't. Couldn't make sense of it. Couldn't. He wanted to go with the flow. Stop thinking and just let go. <laughs>
horror was unimaginable. It would have been so much easier to let go. Everything he saw was a twisted memory, a stray thought. Even this evil he faced came from within.